This is going to be one of the keys to this game is how well NMMI can run the ball. We are a very much as I say that, and we shoot And that. there's the downfield pass. That goes into the hands of Jalen Smith, and he is into the end zone for six. Touchdown, Broncos. All right, I need to start saying that some more. How about a 60-yard pass? Diego Pavia, the running quarterback. Yes, exactly. Throwing it downfield and getting it right into the hands of Jalen Smith. And for Jalen Smith, that is his fifth touchdown. Came in 21 receptions, 352 yards, and adds 60 on the board Lord for that one. Hatcher, one of their leading receivers out of Winnie, Texas. 581 yards and five scores. As the ball is carried by Cameron Collier, he's got almost 500 yards at 467 on 85 carries. A fumble on the play, and Nimi recovers. Here we go, Broncos. Great turn of events after getting the big catch for the touchdown by Jalen Smith. The Bronco defense comes up big. First carry gets the force fumble and gets the recover. Trying to key on Grant. So Option look. look. Here comes Pavi on the left side. He'll pitch it to Grant inside the 20, down to about the 15, as he's in between the numbers and the near sideline. So gets near the 15. That was a good job by Pavi, just waiting till the last Grant moment. The pitch is six in this week's NJCAA D1 football pool. Man comes in motion. And Pavia gives the ball off to Grant. It breaks along the near side. Scoots over a defender. Played high hurdles right there to get to the 12-yard line. Good job by Joderick Lewis there of TVCC. He'll get credit for the tackle after the hurdle, but a uh, uh, nice, nice athleticism by Grant. Yeah, he gets the tackle because he just happened to be there. <laughs> Not necessarily because he tackled him. That was athleticism plus by Anthony Grant. Second down and 12 at the 18. Seven nothing, NMMI leads. Trying for more after they forced the fumble. Another man in motion, another option look. And now Pavia over the middle of a wide open man into the end zone. And that is a touchdown. Touchdown, NMMI. That was just an outstanding throw. Logan Compton getting his first touchdown reception of the year, seventh catch of the year. Came in six receptions, 75 yards. That was a strike. Cardinals now on offense. Here's a pass along the near sideline, and that is a wide open look, and that's a catch by Cam Camper out of Lancaster, Texas. 27th catch on here came in 450 yards. Three touchdown receptions. McClellan hits him on a perfect pass. On the drive. They're five and three on the year. Three and three in conference. NMMI seven and one, five and one in conference. Good coverage by Trey O'Gwen on that last play for NMMI. Done to the left of McClellan. McClellan on the keeper, and he is spun around and tackled down. That was a nice play there by the Broncos' Jaden Swink. Jaden Swink for the Broncos. Swink, who's had a solid year for Nimi. Coming up with a huge tackle. It's fourth down and three, a loss of one on the play. Excellent. What uh, Exactly what the NMMI linebacker core needed. Fourth down, big play here for Trinity Valley. Here's McClellan back to pass, flares it over the middle, and that is a catch, and that is a now touchdown. We will see what NMMI does. The ball just inside the left hash mark. NMMI in their black uniforms with gray numerals, white trim, the black helmets going from our right to our left. And goes in motion. Malik Phillips got the ball, breaks outside, gets the edge of the 40 along the right sideline to the 45. And they'll mark him right there. So a gain of 12 on the play and a first down 
for Malik Phillips. I like that jet sweep, and that time they made it work. I was just about to say the same thing. That's something we only saw two times in the game versus Cisco. Uh, uh, we got away from it. I think Chase Kaiser realized that. It mix, makes the defense stay honest, keeps them outside so they can't stack everybody up in the middle against Anthony Grant in the, in the dive play. Receiver to the right, two to the left. Javier rolling out, looking option. He's going to keep it inside the 40. Gets to the 35 and in the right flat near the 32. And that's going to be a first down for Diego Pavia just navigating. There is a Nimi player down on the far sideline. Here's your walker receiver on the right side for Nimi, along with Terrence Moore in the slot on the right side. Phillips, the receiver to the left. Running back Grant behind Pavia. Pavia taking his time. Gets the snap and pitches on the near side. And that is going to be a run by Patrick Charles. Inside the 15, he gets all the way to the 11 yard line. Third and seven, close to eight at the nine. Ball just inside the left hash mark. Phillips comes in motion left to right, rolling out to his right as Pavia. Passes middle of the field. That's a beautiful catch. And that is into the end zone, a touchdown. And that was Montage Joseph. First time we've called his name and seen him on the field, and all of a sudden he gets a touchdown pass. He as he is. Take another look at it, just a good slant over the middle as he would get that catch and march in. We'll see on the stop. McClellan being rushed, he's going to be set. Oh, loose. And who has it? It looks like Trinity Valley might have gotten it at the last moment, but no signal yet. Yes, they know it's the Broncos who got it. Great tackle from behind, and I'm not sure who got that. It's too far away. My eyes are not good enough. Horatio Maranta on the uh -oh, no. recovery, and I think we might have either taunting or over celebrating by NMMI, which will march them back 15, <laughs> which that takes them from the 10 to about the 25. Be a 23 yard attempt. Snap set is down. Testa gets it high in the sky, and it is good. A 23 yard field goal. William Testa. And they do get points out of it. I know. NMMI would have liked to have gotten seven, but they'll take three. They're up 24 to seven now. to make a stop here if they can get to the quarterback. Second and 16 at the 25. Back to pass McClellan. He has plenty of time. Right sideline, it's almost intercepted by one man and picked up by the other. As that was a beautiful grab by Jaden Oliver as it was tipped into his hands by a teammate. And that's one of those things you remember practicing back in high school and college. Do they still do it in the college? They See what Poppy, the quarterback, does here on fourth and five at the 31 of Trinity Valley. Grant goes in motion to the left. And a pass left side. That's going to be a catch. And out of bounds it goes as that is a catch beautifully by Xavier Another receiver Walker. receiver getting a catch for NMMI. And a motion. Grant the uh, carry. Breaks off to his left on an angle run toward the pylon into the end zone. Touchdown. Pure speed by Anthony Grant on that one. Caught, turned the corner, and there was nobody that could catch him on the TBCC side. is now the quarterback for NMMI. Myers out of Olathe, Kansas. Six for 12, 80 yards. So Diego Pavia's day looks like it's done. He's on the near sideline at around the 45, but with his team up 31 to seven, an opportunity for the man with the ball. He's running down the left hash marks, 30 to the 25, breaks to the sideline to the 15. And Mason Myers, an outstanding run, came in two carries, 18 yards, while he eclipsed that on that one run. Great speed shown there, great cut, got to the outside, into the secondary, and then just ran it down all the way to the sidelines. A 25 yarder, almost middle of the field. It'll be out of the hold of Robert Cole, who does the punting. I've always wondered if kickers prefer a certain side of the field or if they hate the middle of the field because they don't feel like they can just angle it right. I don't know. 
have to ask when a kicker for some of that. Doesn't matter here. Second and seven at the 28. Davis rolling out to his right, looking, plays it over the middle. That's a catch, and that's going to be big time yardage for Cordell David, and he goes into the end zone for six. David, who had the touchdown earlier from Bronson McClellan. Joseph to the right of Pavia. Man goes in motion. And Pavion, the keeper, angles right towards the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Nimi. Diego Pavia, three yards. Just touching the 50. Just inside the left hash marks. Second and five. We'll call it midfield. Two receivers right, one left. Pass in the right flat. And that's going to be a catch at the 38. And good reception and taking the defender with him as that was caught by a man who's not on the roster here, number 83. Nice tackle there by Burton Shaw. He definitely made his presence known on the player to be named later there. Pass over the middle, and that's a nice catch by Nathan Jones at the 18. And that will move the, the chain the so another goes. first down Javier snaps his hands Compton moves from right to left at the tight end spot pump fake by Pavi goes on the right side has a man wide open that is going to be a catch and Terrence Moore with the touchdown 48 yards how about Pavia how about Pavia? That is his fourth touchdown pass of the game. 451 counting down. No huddle. Not the complete hurry up that they were running before, but they're ready to play. Davis takes a snap, looking pass. He's going to pass, and that is a catch. And that is a touchdown. Beautiful play Definitely there. Definitely happy to have them back. And they take care of the mascot duties as well. Yeah, the Bronco mascot was getting down. Ball is loose. And that is going to be picked up and brought into the end zone for six. Brought into the end zone by Josh Beard. Touchdown, NMMI. The scoop and score by the defense. Fourth turnover that they have created. And this time they're going to get the six along with the turnover. Uh, Coach DeFausto and all the Broncos uh, uh, would love to get a rematch in one of the conference games for the conference championship against. There's an interception as we go the other way. Going down the left sideline is Javon Furlow. And Furlow gets inside the 30 to about the 28. This will be a 39 yarder. Just inside the left hash mark, so a little bit of angle there. Out of the hold of Robert Cole. Snap, set, the kick, high enough. It is definitely long enough and it is good. 10 minutes to play, 39 yard field goal by William Testa. One minute to go. McDonald flares it towards the end zone, up for grabs, and is that a catch? Yes, it is. That is a touchdown, Justin Austin. Justin Austin. Justin Austin, freshman wide receiver out of Texas. 